Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Josie of Josie Nicole Photography. This is my YouTube channel. Apparently I'm doing makeup tutorials now, which is really cool. And the purpose of this look is to help those who want to cut back on costs doing a boudoir session. Um, it can add up session costs, albums, lingerie, it's a lot of money. And so this is to maybe help you so that you can do your own makeup instead of paying someone to do it. And this is a really moody, really dramatic, really fun look. It's a lot more intense than the other look I did that you can find on my page here or on my blog post, wherever you may be, uh, you can find it. Uh, this is a little bit more vampy and I love it. I'm totally obsessed with this look. Um, so yeah, welcome. Hopefully you enjoy this video. I really, really hope you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up, comment, share with all your girlfriends, do what you gotta do to let me know that you like this and comment below if you wanna see more because I love to make more videos for you guys. I'm still new here. It's a little bit weird for me, so you gotta help me out. So we're gonna start off very similar to last time. I've already prepped my eyes. I used Tarte Shape Tape this time. You can use a actual proper eyelash eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna start exactly the same as last time with a transition shade. So I'm going back in, same palette, uh, the Ultimate Basics by Urban Decay. And I'm going to go in with Commando. It's a little bit cool tone, but it's just our transition shade all over the lid, kind of blending up into the eyebrow. I forgot to format my CF card before I started, so <laughs> I need to. This is what the look will kind of look like. I am going to have to do that for you guys again. So here we go. Here goes nothing. We're just going to start Commando. I'm pretty sure I did all this one. Back at it. So I did a couple things off camera because I'm kind of going back and forth between taking still photos. So what I did was I took, so after I did the transition shade, transition shade commando. I went in with Faith with this medium fluffy brush and I just did that along the crease here just like that back and forth windshield wiper super simple a little bit into the corner when you're done that you can take an even smaller brush but still keep it nice and fluffy for the shade lockout which is even darker and that i really want you to just focus it on that corner and across in the crease but mostly that corner really keep it nice and tight in there i'm just going to move straight on to blending so we're just going to blend we're just gonna blend and blend and blend. I'm gonna go back in with that transition shade. I'm not even gonna put more on the brush. I'm just gonna leave it and I'm just gonna keep blending. This is a single pan. I'm stepping away from the Naked palette. This is from Essence, super cheap. You can get it in drugstores. This was probably like $2. It's just a tiny bit darker, a little bit more cool. And we're gonna go in with more of a flat brush, a little bit denser. This is a uh, part of the Tarte Unicorn Festival line that they did last summer. And we're gonna pack this, really keep it tight in the crease for this color. This brown that we're going in with doesn't have to be cooler or that much darker, just a little bit darker. It's the very small differences built up over time that are gonna make the most difference to your eye makeup look. So we're just gonna go right in the crease with this one and blend. I think this probably got cut out, but the further your hand is back on the brush, the softer your brush is gonna be. So if you're working with really dark colors, it's very important that you hold the brush back. Um, just so that you can obviously build the cover because the coverage because you can never Go backwards when it comes to coverage, but you can always build it higher. We're gonna take that Medium fluffy brush. I think we used it for Faith. I think we used it for this one We're actually gonna take the same brush You don't have to really wipe it off if you don't want because we're going with a slightly darker color called extra bitter This one's orange. You can use any warm orangey tone orange brown that you may have on hand and this one because we have to warm up the whole eye we're really gonna just kind of focus this in the center of everything but fully across the lid little circles are super helpful but you can also do whatever is comfortable and works for you you might have different brushes different eye shapes so you might need to do different motions perfect that just warmed it up i'm actually gonna warm up the side again 
Oh yeah. And blend. This is a Bare Essentials concealer brush. I prefer to use it for eyeshadow. I always have and I really liked it. I intentionally started using it for eyeshadow because that's genuinely what I thought it was for. We're using the color pre-game. It's kind of a yellow. I'm gonna keep it nice and warm. It's a yellow tone. Um, we're just gonna brighten up the inner part of the eye. This one's not super pigmented. This is probably the only color in this palette that I don't think is that great. And we're just gonna blend that shade. So the last step in this look is we're gonna take a very fine brush and I'm gonna take the black color in this palette. It's called Blackout. And because this is such a dark color, hold it nice on the end and we're gonna work very small and precise in the corners here. Bringing it into the crease just a little bit for that extra definition. And don't worry if this looks really not that great yet, because we gotta blend. This is the nice orangey one that's gonna warm up the face, and we're gonna just blend it with this color, because I don't want like a true black. I'm gonna take this brush. This is a big fluffy brush from Flower Beauty, which is Drew Barrymore's beauty company. Uh, I can't remember where I bought it. You can buy it, at, I think, Walmart. But what we're going to use it for, we're going to take Faith, which is the lightest brown shade you have, and we're going to do the under eyes. And we're going to go back in with this flat brush, back into pregame, the yellow bright one. And it's just simple, just brighten up both eyes here in the inner corner mostly. Now I'm really happy with that. I'm just going to fluff away excess. Because I want this one to be a little bit more moody, I'm actually going to take my brow pencil. This is from MAC, and this shade is called Redhead. I'm almost out. It's got a pencil on one end and a little spoolie on the other. Same with eyeshadow, just less is more, start small, and build. So what I like to do, you can do it however you want. I like to draw a nice line underneath. And then I just kind of fill in where it needs to be filled in. That way if I have that line done, that at least gives me a clear idea of where that starting point is. I'm just going to top it off with the Essence Brow Gel. Soft Brownie Brows is the color number three. This is my foundation right now. It's very full coverage. It's Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer by Clinique. Mine's in the shade One Linen because I'm a bit of a minimalist when it comes to foundation. I just like to do a couple dabs, like so. And then I'm actually gonna go in with the Shape Tape Concealer in Light. I'm gonna do a couple underneath the eyes, and then a couple other little ones on my face. And this is, again, Tarte. I have been a beauty blender or like a beauty sponge person for years, and then I found this brush and it changed my life. I'm gonna have to go in with another brush, which is just the Amazon. Uh, one that I use, it's flat. I don't know what these are for. I think they're for concealer. Guys, it works, it works. And I'm just gonna pat it into my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes. I'm using the Patrick Star Setting Powder by MAC. This was an impulse purchase and it was kind of expensive, but I really like it. It's really awesome. I'm just using a flat brush. I prefer setting with a damp beauty blender, but I didn't wash my beauty blender for today, so we're gonna use this and just underneath your anywhere you're gonna get creases. Moving on, we're almost done. Thanks for sticking out with me, guys. I really appreciate it. So my camera stopped recording yesterday at this stage in the makeup look and so I'm just going to continue and pick up right where I left off. As you can see I've recreated the eye look to the best of my ability. My apologies, I feel very silly. So what, I'm just going to start right over. I'm using the Tarte Tartist uh, Pro Go, Pro Glow to Go. Um, palette. They have a new one that's called like the Hamptons and it's the colors look really nice. Uh, this one's really well used. We're gonna go in with Chisel which is obviously the contouring color with a super flat narrow brush and we're just gonna draw kind of where we want our shadow to be for our cheekbones. So I always go fairly light on my nose. 
Go a little bit into the hairline here, on the kind of upper temple area. You can sculpt all the way down here if you want. You can really chisel whatever. And then we're gonna go in with this huge fluffy brush. This is also a contouring brush. This is a Tarte's brush, dual ended. It's awesome. And we're just gonna blend that out. I like to work it backwards into the hairline and kind of down the neck a bit. That way it hopefully will be more seamless. So now I'm going to take a little bit of bronzer. I just use drugstore bronzer, um, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Okay. We're just going to take the same big fluffy brush and we're just going to kind of go over top of the contouring spots very lightly just to add a bit of, it has a bit of more of a warm tone than a cool tone so it just kind of warms up the face especially if you're going to be doing boudoir contour and bronze your chest and your boobs because you know i like to bronze right up into the hairline we're going to take the highlight burst it's super nice i love it uh the one above it gleam is amazing it's probably my all-time favorite highlighter it broke and i actually like picked up pieces off the dirty floor and like used it a couple times because I just couldn't say goodbye. So if Tarte makes that in a single, let me know. Send me a link because that gleam highlight on the top of this palette is amazing. Slash if they don't make it, let's tag Tarte and tell them that they need to make that a single because it's so pretty. And we're just gonna go on top of the cheekbones, just super light, not like a huge highlighter person. Also, I'm gonna take this and do it on the brow bones. So normally you'd use a smaller brush, but if you're super light and gentle, this size brush will work just fine. A little bit on the nose and the cheekbones. It depends how much highlight you want. For a boudoir shoot, less is more with highlight, I think. And I'm just going with a generic drugstore blush. Okay. I'm back, I did my eyeliner with the NYX That's The Point in color. Put a wing on it, it's just black. This is the best drugstore eyeliner I have found to date. And today I did a small wing just cause I focus more on rounding out the eyes during the eyeshadow part of this makeup look. I didn't want to take away from that and do too big of a wing. So I kept it nice and small. And then next is the fake lashes. So I'm using the False Lashes Daily Darling Lash by Benefit. When you get a new pair of lashes, you're gonna have to trim the ends. These ones are already trimmed, but you're just gonna hold it up to your eyelid, uh, the edge on the outside, and then you're gonna see how far in it goes and how far in it needs to go. And it's super easy, just take little cosmetic scissors or whatever you have. Now the actual application part, we're gonna take eyelash glue. Now I highly recommend investing in a good eyelash glue just because you don't want to be pulling out all your eyelashes or having an allergic reaction. Just be extra careful. Do some research. Um, I've heard that the QO ones are really really bad. So I use this is House of Lashes eyelash adhesive. I got this at Sephora and you're just gonna apply it to the base of the eyelash and then you're gonna wait. And while you wait, just like twirl it so that it curves a little bit. We literally wanna let this glue dry until it's almost completely dry because when it comes out wet, it's not very sticky and it actually is when it's right about to dry that it gets the stickiest and that's when you're gonna put it on. Make sure that you don't put it on your actual waterline where your actual eyelashes are. You're gonna pull out all your eyelashes, so just be careful. You want it close to the waterline. Okay, this looks pretty good. So yeah, we're just gonna meet it right at the end, the end with the end, and just slowly work our way across the eyelid. So that lash glue is gonna stay sticky for quite some time, so you do have time to readjust if you need. And I always like to angle my head to the side and look and see how far it is from my actual lashes to see if I need to put it further, closer, you know, whatever. And you'll be able to tell because you'll have like two sets of lashes. You'll have two layers. Mine looks pretty good. They're really, really fairly close. I'm just gonna push very lightly down on top. Oh, make sure you wash your hands before you do this. Dang it. Now I'm gonna go in with mascara. Any mascara is fine. The reason I do this, just so that your eyelashes, the ends of your eyelashes stick to the ends of the fake lashes, 
That way when you do turn your head or you are looking at your eyelashes, they look like they're all together. So I recommend if you have a boudoir shoot coming up or any photo shoot or anything that you really want to wear fake lashes too. Just practicing. Even if you're just going to be watching TV at home, just practice. And that way you can also get used to what it feels like to have them on. So I'm going to start with the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner. The color is number 12 called The Red and it's just like a true red. I apologize guys, my lips are really dry because I drank a little bit of wine last night and I didn't have much water. For some reason I feel like drinking water just there was gonna make it better. It's awesome, I like that liner quite a bit. It's obviously Sephora brands more affordable than some of the other high-end brands, but I still think they have the quality there with most all of their products. Now I'm going in with the cream lip stain from Sephora in the color Made in Italy, and it's just super red. You know how some people like the smell of like gasoline? That's what this is. It like doesn't, it smells like chemicals, but I like it. It's like a satisfying chemical smell. That's literally the makeup look finished to completion. And I hope you guys like this look. I hope you found that helpful. Uh, and I'm just gonna finish this look with some setting spray. I'm really happy with this look. I hope you guys are too. It's super warm, super sexy, kind of vampy with the red lip. You could do any lip with this look and it would be amazing for a boudoir session. So go do this look, put on your lingerie, and get in front of that camera and rock, rock it.